At the time of making this video, CS2's cheater issue should 100% be top priority for Valve right now, if they don't want to kill another game. But that doesn't mean the community can't create concepts for future updates that will most likely come at one point or another. I think everyone knows that when CS2 took over CSGO, nades became inspectable, like you can inspect any util items in the game, and this most likely is so that skins can eventually be released for them. Of course, Valve could definitely be lazy and maybe throw one of the most popular workshop designs into the next case or something, kind of like they did with the first Zeus skin. But imagine we got an actual nade skin case. I saw Gabe followers sharing a new concept on Twitter that's legit exactly this. And in this video, I want to take a look at it as well as with all of the skins the creator, this guy, compiled together for it. Because in my opinion, some of these are super dope. Before I do though, I need to pay for food and rent and my car just crashed. So let me give a shout out to today's video sponsor, Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is hands down one of the best bot trading sites you can use with Counter-Strike skins. Say you want to upgrade some of your current skins to get something better, this would be the perfect site to do that with. You can also straight up buy skins too, and with their 35% deposit bonus plus my code, it gives anyone quite a nice balance to work with. There's even free giveaways you can enter and rewards for completing simple tasks on the site. Get started with a free $5 using my link in the description below. Okay, with that all out of the way, here is the concept right here. This is the page on Steam where you can find basically everything I'm about to show you guys. Again, shout out to Kosir, if that's how you say his name. He was the guy who made every single skin we're about to look at, and then also the concept of the case that we're about to take a look at. Scrolling down here, you'll see we have a custom logo for it, the Explosive Collection. Not gonna lie, it's a pretty sick name and the, the logo itself looks sweet. And if we keep scrolling down here, we're gonna start to see some of the skins. It looks like for red tier, we have the home run one right here. For pink, we have Catch Your Gift and Pokey Pal, if that's how you say it. For purple, there's four of them. The Big Brother, this is B. Pomegranate, wait, I don't even know if that's how you'd say that. And the Nine Ball, I like how sweet and simple this one is. For blues, there's five of them. The first one is the Global Offensive one here. And I can't lie, well, it's not like the most direct reference to Global Offensive, it could be kind of a cool tribute to CSGO if you wanted to think of it that way. That's followed with Metal Plates, the Dwarf Bomb. I also really like this one. Rusty Garbage, and then another version of that 9 ball. We have the 8 ball, though. It's, you know, the black ball. For the sake of not making this video like an hour long, I'm going to go through some of my favorites here. I'm not going to go through every single skin, but we got to first start off with this home run right here. If you're a baseball fan like I am, I mean, I don't really follow much sports besides baseball, but this is really cool. And even like, wait, hold up. Even right here, you can see Counter-Strike Official Major League. Like, I like how there's little Easter eggs and whatnot on here. Even on this red flapper, I don't know what you call this part of the nade, it also says Counter-Strike Major League, which I think is really cool. Other than that, it's just a simple, you know, baseball design with the red weaving and the white, but definitely a cool, not too over the top idea, I think. I think this would fit in the game pretty decently. I can't lie, the catch your gift one that he has right here that says Merry Christmas on it. I could see this being kind of like a Christmas update type skin. I don't know if this should actually be in a case though. Definitely want to look at the Poke Pal here. This is just supposed to be a Pokeball, it looks like. So a reference to Pokemon if this doesn't get copyrighted or something like that. But another simple but really decent looking skin. If these are ever added into the game, I don't know if this is actually how it would be, but you can see there's two different types of materials between the red and the white colors on this skin. Again, not a super crazy skin, but it gives us a really cool look. Like the white, as you can see here, is a little bit more reflective than the red, but the red, you can almost see that like grip texture in it. I love that. I feel like if this was added, there'd definitely be some copyright drama, especially when you look at a photo like this, like this looks really similar. But yet again, it's not an actual Pokeball, so I don't know, maybe this would be fine. The Big Brother skin too, this one with the big red eye on it. This one also was really popping out to me also because of the red and white colors. But if you take a look at this up close, you'll see that it's literally an eyeball with a brain and the top. I think this is definitely one of the most unique designs from this collection that he's made. And with this kind of crazy feeling of death it brings as if you're like, I don't know, pulling out someone's eye and then the brain comes with it. I don't know, it kind of fits an HG nade. Following that one, I want to take a look at This Is B, that nade skin. Because you can't tell me that like when you look at this thing up close, it's not Anubis themed. Like this feels like it has an, it, like it feels like it's been made specifically for Anubis in a lot of ways. With that said, it just feels like it. Like this thing would be sick on any of the sand maps. And the artwork that's specifically on it, it looks like it's one dude diffusing what looks to be a bomb with three dudes holding a B site flag pushing him. Definitely a CT versus T type picture right here. But that also makes it one of these really unique designs too, really creative. I can't lie, I kind of wish the yellow part here took up more of the skin instead of just leaving the top and the bottom so gray. But this is definitely a sweet color concept of a skin. For the pool ball nade skins, there's two of them. There's the nine ball and there's the eight ball, but I like the nine ball more because of just the yellow color. It pops a little bit more. And honestly, with the yellow gloves, this thing could go really well as you inspect it before you throw it, I guess. Legit, all the skin is, is a yellow pool ball. Like you can see it's slightly reflective. It looks glossy. And then you have the word diamonds around the little 
stockier. I don't know what you would call that piece either. And then the rest of it's just the normal black color with what looks to be another little nine ball way up there in the top right. It's another very simple skin, but let's be real. If we see nade skins in Counter-Strike, I'd rather have them be more simple than these crazy looking things that take your attention away from the game. All of these will definitely make the game a little bit more fun. And while some of these could be a little bit too extreme, I feel like for the game, there's some great concepts in here that I think should be added without question. Like if we're ever going to see nade skins, why not have it be something simple like some of these? Anyways, let me know what you guys think of all these down in the comments below. And if you'd even want to see nade skins in the game, I'm very curious to see how mixed the com community is going to be on this. Anyways, with all that said, if you made it this far, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to drop a like and of course, subscribe if you're new. And uh, now whatever video is showing on your screen, the YouTube algorithm thinks you might like. So do me a favor and go check it out.